So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over batch plotting. AutoCAD's never had a great batch plotting program, but it has got better over the years. So I want to show you some tips and tricks on how to get a consistent batch plot every single time. Now, uh, if you can notice that my screen might look a little different than what you're used to, that's because I'm using AutoCAD 2015 for the Mac. I just wanted to try something new. So here we go. So first thing you want to do is you want to create you a page setup. Now this is this is my temper I mean this is my basic border. It's you know 11 by 17. Um, you know the average side of size of a uh, piping isometric and since I'm a piper that's what I'm used to. So uh, first thing you want to do is you want to uh, create your page setup. So there's a couple ways you can do this and I always go over them so first way is key in you can do page setup you can see it pop starts populating hit OK brings up the dialog box cool we got it the other way is if you come up to file come down to page setup manager and it shows you the quick key on the Mac and it also do it on the uh, uh, Windows version 2. So hit that. Guess what? We got the same box. So um, first thing we want to do once we get this dialog box is go ahead and create our page. So right here uh, you've got create page setup. If we had some in here we would do you know delete. We could do a delete. You know and then some we can import one if we are if we have one that's already created on another sheet we can import it also so we're going to create a new one click here give it a name so we're going to call this cc underscore plot underscore temp okay i'm going to hit okay continue sorry continue then it brings up the page setup for your plotting. Again, this is going to be very similar in the AutoCAD, I mean in the Windows version. Uh, it's just going to look a little bit different. This is where you can set up your, you know, uh, your template for your plot. You can select your printers. We've only got one. Uh, set your size. Uh, since it's 11 by 17, typically we'd want to do a ledger or you know, 11 by 17, but since the only printer I've got loaded up right now can do letter, we'll leave it as letter. Um, you want to print, display, whatever is displayed on that screen is going to be printed, extents, whatever is in the plot, you know, or in the sheet is going to print. So if you've got something way out in space, it's going to print that also. It's going to size everything down. If you have your limits set up on your drawing, uh, you can just do the limits uh, or a window. You can select what you want to print. Since we're going to do this as more of a, a generic uh, for these borders, um, we're just going to do extents. You know, fit paper. Yeah, we're going to have uh, fit paper. We're going to center the plot up so that way it's always in the center. Um, you know, if you have CBT files uh, for your plot colors and layers and that kind of stuff, then this is where you would select that. You know, we're just going to do a regular monochrome. I don't have anything. You want to do this for all the layouts? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, if you have 3D viewports, if you were doing uh, paper space um, and you wanted to do those uh, the viewports you could choose you know what you want that to come out since we're just dealing with model space instead of paper space we'll just leave as displayed uh, plot stamp if you want to put a plot stamp you know you can um, print object line weight sure why not um, sharing from other devices sure we'll leave that you know we'll leave the defaults pretty much here um, and just one other little caveat, if you open it up and you don't see all those other options, uh, on the Windows and the Mac version, there's this little icon right here, more options. 
So let's click it, and then that brings that up. So we're going to hit OK. So once we got it, what we want to do is go ahead and uh, set this as our default. You know, set current, yes. And if you want to, you can rename it, you know, just like you normally would. You know, right click, rename, you know, click once and it should highlight. Then we hit close. Go ahead and save the drawing. Okay. And as a good rule of thumb, I, I just always do it. Just go ahead and get out of the drawing. So we're going to open a new drawing. And just AutoCAD will work fine. Okay, so now we're going to go to the second step, with uh, second piece of this puzzle, which is actually batch plotting drawings. So to do that, you can come up here to File and go Batch Publish. Okay, again, if you like the key in Command, you can just start typing in Batch Plot slash publish. Why they name these differently? I don't know. Brings up this sheet right here. Okay. Now what you can do, okay, we're going to import in three drawings. So here's post number five. We're going to select these three. Okay, down here it says, you know, what format you want, drawing, DWS, which are standards, uh, your template file or your DXF. You know, we're going to go with just a regular DWG for AutoCAD. You can select, you want to print just the model, you know, model layout, the paper space layout only, or both the model and the layout, you know. Uh, since we're just dealing with what's inside the, you know, model space, we're just going to do model. Okay, and we're going to hit open. Okay, now you can see there's no, you know, there's nothing. If you try to plot this right now, it would probably give you a whole bunch of errors. Let's not do that. So what we want to do is now bring in our template. So we're going to go to our template, we're going to go to a border, and you can see that this has the CC plot temp in there. That's what we want. So let's highlight everything, collect this one, and just go ahead and hit CC plot. Now you don't have to print this one once you've got this in, uh, imported then all you have to do is hit there. You know, go ahead and, you know, remove this drawing. And since we, you wouldn't see it on my printer anyway, we're going to say, you know, set it to PDF. But you could also do the plot settings. So you can see that if you click through these, you'll see where it says, you know, hey, we want to print to this printer with these settings, scale to fit. You know, we're going to go here. Okay, and then so we got what we want one, two, and three. We're going to hit publish. Now, since we're saving it to a PDF, it's asking us where do we want to save it. Now, we're going to save it right in here. So, um, post five. And you'll see that it'll start opening up the drawings, saving them to, you know, the PDF. And it will open it up. So now you can see that we've got three drawings plotted out. One, two, 
three. So, um, in a nutshell, that's how you do a batch plot. The only other thing I would tell you to do uh, is when you create your uh, template for your plot style, you can create more than one inside that drawing. So you could save that as a plot template drawing and it will have all your plot settings in there. And so that way when you go to batch plot, say you want one that you want to print all the colors, you can have that one in there also. Or just black and white, or just PDF, or um, you know, you want to print it bigger to 11 by 17, I mean, big as 7 by 11 by 17. You know, a D size, or 24 by 36, or you know, 36 by 42. Uh, you can have all those set in there, so that way all you have to do is pick and choose which one you want. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, comments, please uh, let me know. And uh, look forward to posting more of these.